Hi everyone, my name is Peter Dennis and I'm going to be presenting four videos on the subject of meditation. The first one talks about what it is. The second one, why you might want to do it. Third, how to do it. And fourth, kind of some of the finer points, uh, almost um, frequently asked questions kind of thing. Now, meditation's been around forever. Uh, traditions of yoga, certain religions have had it for a long time. But it wasn't until the 1950s that Maharishi Mahesh Yogi brought it to the West and it was picked up by certain celebrities. The Beatles, Joe Namath, Clint Eastwood, Governor Jerry Brown, California. And shortly after, Dr. Herbert Benson from Harvard began to do research on it and he produced two books, The Relaxation Response and, the, and Beyond the Relaxation Response. And these books kind of put the uh, scientific community in touch with meditation. And since then, lots of studies have been done and it turns out to be extremely beneficial for people. Now, to do meditation, you don't need to adopt a new lifestyle. You don't have to wear sandals and sit in the lotus position, burn incense, or any of those kind of things. Meditation is simply a reaction or a response in the nervous system, and it's brought about by a simple, natural process. It's easy to do. When you do it, certain changes uh, occur in, in the body. Uh, there's a reduction in cortisol, which you may know as the stress um, hormone. There are increases in serotonin, the happy neurotransmitter. Uh, DHEA, the longevity molecule. GABA, the calming neurotransmitter. And endorphins, the body's natural painkiller. All of these increase. Physiologically, there's some changes that take place. Uh, the body becomes very relaxed. Brain waves change to alpha, and you can see this on an electroencephalograph where they slow down and uh, go about 8 to 12 beats a second. Metabolism drops significantly, uh, more so than it does in sleep. Uh, the senses become more acute. And the unconscious portion of the mind comes to the fore, and we become more receptive and more responsive to suggestion. So if you're experiencing these changes, you're experiencing meditation. And if you don't, you're not. And to confuse the issue, you will see people talking about, or books written about, things like meditations for professionals, meditations for mothers. And if you look at them, these are not about meditation as much as they are pleasant themes or ideas that you might contemplate in a state of meditation. But meditation is pretty strictly defined and must have the criteria that I just named to actually be meditation. Now the next video is about why you might want to do it. And I'll leave you with a little hint. Meditators, the science tells us, um, look younger, they're healthier, they handle stress better, and they enjoy life more. And there's quite a bit more. So I hope to see you in the next video on why you might want to meditate. Bye for now.